I'm not allowed to feel that because of, I'm not allowed to feel that because of, and, and while we have all of those I'm not allowed to because what's going on inside of us is we're shutting down the emotional expression. The key is to understand that God doesn't judge any of your emotions like that. Mm. God just wants you to feel them, and if they're in error, they'll be released by the feeling of them. If they're in truth, they'll be enhanced by the feeling of them. So the key is just allow yourself to feel them. Whether they're error-based or truth-based, feeling them is going to have a positive effect on your life. If you're judging them before you feel them, then you block off that entire process. Yeah, I'm just wondering how far I've shoved them down. I had a, a in doing journey work with Brandon Bays, a huge meltdown. I didn't even know what it was about, but I just went into a fit of crying and, yeah. and weeping and carrying on, and I was so weak after it. And I really can't imagine what it was about, and it was it just it just matter. hit me, yeah. and it was just spasms and spasms and spasms of these just yeah. grief, absolute grief. grief, like I hit something really deep. But I didn't know what it was. But it doesn't matter. No. And what will happen is that, like if I could describe a little bit of what's happened through my own process, and maybe Mary can describe a little bit for her as well. With my own process, even before I knew who I was, I started doing emotional work. When I, during that process, I had lots and lots and lots of memories. Memories about abuse, torture. I had a memory uh, about people nailing nails into my feet and all sorts of things none of which I could, I could understand. I didn't understand any of them. I didn't link it to myself being Jesus or anything like that. All I did was have these series of memories that went on for years, like for seven, seven year period. And at the start, all I did was I thought, well, I must have been abused as a child or something. Like I didn't, I didn't believe in reincarnation. I didn't believe that, you know, I believed spirits could influence me, but I knew spirits weren't because I, I, because I don't feel connections like that with spirits at all. And, and so it felt like my own stuff, but I couldn't understand it. So I went through this period where I, I tried to understand, you know, here, but that just shut it all down anyway and made it all worse. So I had to give up that. What I tried to do is I tried to say to myself here, uh, what would it be? Could it be this? Could it be that? Could it be this? Could it be that? Many of you have done the same, right? Yeah. Could it be this? Could it be that? Could it be this? <laughs> and, and, and in the end, I realized that every time I was going, could it be this? I wasn't allowing myself to feel it until I resolved here what it was. So I, so I had to give up this process of trying to know intellectually what this emotion was actually all about and what the memory even was all about. And instead, just allow myself to feel the emotion or memory. So I went through this process and a feeling one after the other after the other, all sorts of things. Lots of it related to torture and abuse and things like that. All which I then assumed must have happened. I, I'd never believed in past in a, in a life that I had any longer than the life I've lived this life. And so I just assumed that it must be all to do with that. And then I, um, after I came out of all of that, which took a period of nearly seven years, um, I was used to now not judging my own emotion. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Not judging it, not trying to define what it was, <coughs> just feeling it for what it was. And then what happened is I went through a whole process of remembering who I was. And once I went through all of that process, I realized what all the other memories were all about. Does that make sense? But up until that time, I had no idea what they were all about. And I didn't even try to work out what they were about. Because every time I tried to work out what they're about, it's, they, these memories stopped me, my emotional flow. I, I was out of my emotions when I tried to do that, and I wanted to stay in my emotions. So what I found out through that process uh, for myself was that every time I attempt to intellectually work out what my emotion is, generally I'm doing it because of another emotion of fear about what it is. Fear about, you know, what, why am I having this memory of torture? What's What's up here, you know, and worrying about all of that. And when you start to relax emotionally and just allow yourself to feel, you will not want to know, know necessarily what it's about. And the iron irony of that is that down the track, after you've had a series of different emotions occur, you will go back to some of these emotions that you've actually had. And ah, now I know what that was all about, right? Because everything starts, your soul has a complete memory 
of everything that's ever happened to you. And so eventually what happens, when you release the emotional blockages to remembering everything inside of you, you will remember everything and you'll know what it's about then. But you won't know while you're doing it. And a lot of people are expecting themselves to know while they're doing it, which actually slows down the entire process of doing it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Best to just give that up. Can I just ask one last question? Do you think my father ever tried? Did he deny me? Did he not want me as well as I was told? Well, that's the emotion driving your quest to connect with your father. So you need to feel that emotion. Okay. Me giving you an answer is only going to get you out of that emotion. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? So what's the emotion? The emotion is my father didn't try to find me, my father abandoned me. There's some of those are kind of emotions in there for you, right? Allow yourself to feel them. And when you do that, you'll find you'll attract probably your father, even if he's in the spirit world, and he'll be able to answer those questions directly for you, right? And wow. you may find out a completely different set of truths yeah. of what actually happened. You, you may find that your mum rejected him. You Two may, sides to every coin. Yeah, yeah, you may find the truth to the matter but first feel your emotion before you ask the question. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Ask yourself, what emotion is driving me feeling this? And it's the emotion that your father abandoned you. Let yourself feel that your father abandoned you. It may not be true, but let yourself feel it because yeah. that emotion is, is in there. you. Yeah. Does that okay. make yeah. sense? Yeah. And to be frank with you, that emotion could have come from your mother who may have been abandoned by her own father. Yeah. rather than actually your actual biological father abandoning you. Yeah. But it doesn't matter where it comes from. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's actually in you and needs to come out of you. And, yeah. Yeah. and Mary, would you like to mention some things like of your emotional journey in terms of not knowing things and then and then feeling them? Yeah, it was a big it was a big thing for me to let go of the need to understand everything before I felt it, because um, it felt very out of control. To suddenly, when I first met AJ, I suddenly started to have a lot of emotional experiences that I couldn't rationalise and explain, um, <clears throat> and so I spent a lot of time trying to figure it out say six months or eight months trying to figure everything out before I'd allow myself even just to connect with what was already there. Um, it's, and, and that I think is what you're experiencing, isn't it? There's something already there, but you're really wanting to check everything out before you give yourself permission to, to go into it. Um, and I had to learn to just go into whatever's coming up, whenever it's coming up. And um, I've had the experience of things suddenly, while, even while I'm in the emotion, the truth of what is actually occurring or what has happened comes to me. Yeah. But I have to be willing to go to the emotion first. Yeah. 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 That's good. Good question. Yeah. 